Hello guys, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. It's Kami, and in this video we are going to model a flash separator unit in Aspen Flash. Let's have a let's have a look on our problem. So we are supposed to calculate the system's temperature and liquid phase composition as well. Or uh, in simple words, to help you as well, we are going to calculate the dew point temperature of this system. So I have summarized the peak conditions. You can have a look on it on the specifications of peak, and it's going to be the AP molar feed for uh, in terms of benzene and toluene. Uh, this problem is relatively straightforward and is and can be found in uh, introductory chemical engineering, thermodynamics, and vapor liquid equilibrium subjects of for chemical engineering students the reason to choose this is that uh, this video is, speci is specifically aimed for the beginners who have just started using aspen plus uh, watching this video has two advantage the first one is that these beginners can connect the theory that uh, they have been taught in the classes with uh, what happens actually in simulation softwares in process simulators like aspen plus and uh, Second benefit is that they can uh, get the journal environment, they can uh, aware themselves with the journal environment of Aspen Plus that will help them to model complex uh, unit processes and unit operation afterwards. So in the assumptions, we have just two assumptions and uh, we have assumed ideality in both liquid and vapor phases. So both liquid and vapor phase in our case are assumed to be ideal so for example when we talk about ideality in liquid phase it's mean that uh, the activity coefficient for the components in the liquid phase is going to be one and when we talk about ideality in vapor phases it's mean that the equation of a state that we will use to model the vapor phase will be ideal gas equation or uh, in other words you can say when we talk about chemical engineering thermodynamics the few gasity coefficients for components for species in the vapor phase is one as well now we will have a look on the txy diagram and these diagrams are very important to analyze whenever you are working with binary systems so let's have a look on txy diagram and the given systems pressure for benzene and toluene here we are uh, looking at the txy diagram for benzene and toluene and uh, at system pressure that is 150 mm hg and this pressure corresponds to 0.2 bar you can see in this legend now this green line corresponds to vapor phase and this blue line corresponds to liquid phase which means that uh, the vapor phase composition will be red via this line and the liquid phase composition will be red via this blue line for our specified uh, mole fraction of benzene that is 0.65 if we move upward and uh, get to this uh, green line that corresponds to vapor we can read the temperature from this y-axis and uh, the temperature according to this figure this is between 47.5 and 50 degrees celsius important thing if you want to draw and if you want to create these essential diagrams that is txy and pxy diagrams for binary systems don't forget to check out my videos on how to draw txy and pxy diagrams in aspen plus for binary systems the link is in description below and uh, you can check out the cards provided with this video as well it's mean that our system step which uh, should be between 47.5 and 50 to get the desired vapor phase composition of benzene that is 0.65 next let us quickly move to the aspen plus properties environment here we are in the aspen plus properties environment so the first thing is to specify components uh, that are simply the next thing is to specify the property package involved in this simulation so for that go to these methods specifications specify the base method uh, as this ideal because we have assumed ideality in both liquid and vapor phase using this ideal model defines or specifies that the 
activity coefficient for a species in the liquid phase is 1. We don't have any energy components involved. There is not anything left to do in this properties environment and uh, as well plus we'll take care of all the bookkeeping involved. Let us run this. The results are available and the next step is to move to the simulation environment.